Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. Today we'll continue our series on reviewing the basics in Excel. Today concentrating on why it pays to format cells before we begin to enter data. The basic series is in response to a letter that I received from a viewer asking me to review the basics of data entry. When we are entering data, and I've set up here a basic spreadsheet for employee listings, it really pays for us to look and plan before we start to enter data. The format that we have here for last name and first name is the default setting, which is the general setting. I'll click here and go to Format Cells and look at our format, which is our general. General formatting cells have no specific number format. Well, that's fine for last name and first name and department. I can put in here sales. But once we start to enter dates, if I put in a date, for example, uh, let's say that I started work on 5203, that really may not be the way that I want to see the date and the data displayed. That's the general formatting for Excel. So what I recommend doing is highlighting the entire cell. First off, let's delete our entry and let's go back and highlight the entire um, column and we'll go up here to format cells and we will choose in the number category date and I want whatever I enter in to display as the full month, the date, comma, and the full year. So now when I enter in 5203, Excel now displays the information the way I want to see it entered. For Social Security numbers, rather than going through and saying, should I enter the hyphens or not, in other words, 111223333, ah, that looks terrible. What I really want to do and how I can save time is choose my entire column, go into Format, Cells, and this time in the Number tab, I go to the category called Special, and there's a special formatting for Social Security number. Click OK, and now when I enter in 111223333, Excel will display the information with the hyphens. Notice that I only had to type in the numbers. Excel supplied the hyphens for me. It's a great time saver. For the hourly rate, rather than going in and putting in 40 and then going back and then saying, OK, format it, what I should do is pre-format the cell. Select the entire column, go up into Format, cells and this time what I want to do is put in currency and have two decimal points so that now when I go in and put in 40 every cell will have that formatting. For home phone numbers similar we have categories within the special category so for the home number what I may have inconsistencies with or will take time do I include the open parentheses and the closing parentheses uh, after the area code? Where do I put the hyphens? Save yourself the time, the aggravation. Keep your data consistent by formatting the cell before you start your entry. So we'll again go back to Format, Cells, and this time we'll choose Special. And there is a special formatting for phone numbers. So now if I put in 503-111-2222, Excel supplies the formatting and it will keep every entry that I put in here. So 212-111-2323 is going to be consistently formatted without me having to take that extra time. Last is for our zip codes. The problem with zip codes, if I don't format the cell, I have no problem when I put in 19012. But I have a problem when I put in 0785, sorry about that. You see what happened to that leading zero. So let me clear this and let me clear this. The advantage of pre-formatting the cell is I go up to Format, 
cells and I choose once again in special and I choose zip code okay now when I enter in 07862 my leading zero is captured so you can see the advantages that we gain by pre-formatting our cells. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.